first of all, my personality in Spanish is completely different mm -hmm. than in English. Yeah. I can articulate my words very well mm -hmm. in my native language, but mm -hmm. in Spanish, I do sound like a five-year-old sometimes, mm -hmm. and that's hard to get used to. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Like, just moving countries, um, do you feel like your personality has changed? I mean... I mean, definitely yes. Before moving here, I'd only ever, like, travelled briefly like everywhere every other country i've been to was for three weeks just like a holiday um, yeah like a short period uh, but i feel like within when you just go to visit somewhere like you're in a honeymoon phase with the country because it's yeah. everything's like exciting but yeah. when you like move somewhere it yeah, ends the first three and weeks, then it yeah, like really sucked. hits you <laughs> um yeah i don't know like i first of all my personality in spanish is completely different mm -hmm. than in english because it's like i need to learn a whole new way of expressing myself yeah but even in English here, my life is just completely different. Like, um, before moving, I was a university student. I graduated and then two months later left Australia. So I lived with my parents. I studied every day for five years. And then before that, I went straight from high school. So I went from high school to university to my master's degree and then left the country. Um, I worked at a real job <laughs> i was i worked in retail so it wasn't like a hard job oh no yeah. and then i worked in a swimming pool with children um live with my family got none of that now yeah um, that's so different yeah mm. new friends yeah new family new friends, new... It, honestly there, there's more things in my life that are different and that are similar mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like i'm dating the same person pretty much everything else is different do you like that it's so different though yeah um, Yes and no, there are definitely some things I miss, like I miss, I, I felt I had more freedom in Australia than I have here. Mm -hmm. Do you think out. that's like a language barrier though, or like just in general? Um, language barrier, also I had a car in Adelaide, yeah. it was my car, I owned it, I could drive it, I don't have a license here, I do, my, me and my husband have a car, but mm -hmm. it's a big van, yeah. and I don't feel particularly comfortable driving it. I also Especially not, in a big city. Yeah, the Montevideo drivers are absolutely Freaking crazy. No road scary. laws. Another yeah. No, they're, thing they they have not used rules, to. they just don't follow, don't follow them. Yeah. yeah. That's another thing um, I'm not used to. <laughs> <laughs> so it's I agree. crazy. No, I agree. Like hazards for could mean twelve different things. It's like uh mm. try on your hazards. Thank you. Also I'm parking, also my I might car be doing a U turn. Yeah. Um mm. maybe I just don't know where I'm going. Mm hmm I'm just driving slow. Maybe so I'm the hazard, so <laughs> here's my life. Yeah. It's crazy. So yeah, I, I miss driving and being able to just like Go also, you want. Yeah, also just like knowing. I grew up in the same city my whole life, let's make that clear. So like when you know a place inside and out, I think it's very different than when you're in a new environment. Um, it takes a while to, like now I feel comfortable here, mm -hmm. but that took a long time. Like, I would say two at years. least a year, if not a year and a half, two years to feel mm -hmm. like... This is your home? Yeah, like mm -hmm. comfortable going out and around like myself, like post pandemic too, mm -hmm. like it's kind of... The pandemic definitely slowed down my timeline. Mm, I don't think it would take a normal person two years, but yeah. um, I didn't have friends for most of that, so... Mm. You know. Do you think it was also like the fact that men stare at you so much that you feel you don't have as much freedom? Yeah, definitely. Like, I, I love to go walking along the beach, or here would be La Rambla, like, along there. But if mm -hmm. I go on leggings and a sports bra, it's like, wow, look at that. Yeah. Mm. Like, that's... Woo! I mean, I feel like people in the US, or like men in the US, Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not interested in women, so I don't. I'm not like staring <laughs> not at women. Not you personally, yeah. but other men. But I feel like they would like look at you, maybe. But if you, if they, if they noticed you were looking, they'd look away mm. immediately. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And the difference is like if um, men in Australia shouted out the car window, I'd know what they said. Oh yeah. Whereas here, they're going past, mm -hmm. shouting from a window. So mm -hmm. I'm like, you could be saying you're gonna murder me, mm -hmm. or it could yeah. be just be like, it's oh, just scary, hi, yeah. sweetie, yeah. like. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know the difference because I can't hear them fast yeah. enough to like. They're probably not saying I'm gonna murder you, but yeah. like you, you never you know. Could. Well, those guys yelled at you the other day. Yeah, too. like the the first time me and my boyfriend went out, like for a little walk, going to Harder Cafe. Like we were walking down the Rambla, and there's just these two guys like laughing. I don't know. We think they were high, but <laughs> whatever. They were I mean, still like, an excuse. Yeah, exactly to be an asshole. But like they literally screamed at my boyfriend like she's cheating on you and like and all that kind of stuff and just like laughing at us and whatever. I don't and see how that's fun. For them. No, no, and like just the next street there was this guy driving like mm. by us rolling down the window and we didn't hear what they we screamed at all. Mm. But they were screaming something too. It's just like I mean, um, it's sad to say, but as a woman, you get kind of used, used to, to it. it. Mm. So 
But it's what gets me more pissed is like I'm with my boyfriend right now. Yeah, they yeah. don't care. Like, please be a res- little bit more respectful. Like, yeah. the, you know, I, I don't know. It's. Do you think it's like a cultural thing that they do it here or not? I mean, has that the, happened to you in Sweden? Yeah, yeah, it has when I'm alone, but it doesn't happen when I'm around guys. No. That, that's, that's why I think it's weird to me yeah. because mm-hmm. guys, I guess, are more intimidated by other guys. Mm-hmm. So they wouldn't, if they see me with another one, like they're, okay, okay, we'll back off. Like yeah. she's already got something, you know, yeah. someone to cat Which is her. always worse. Like, oh, she's, <laughs> they're she's art. Because yeah, of, like, exactly. Man, yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. so I mean, I bet it's also different here because like you were saying, you knew what they were saying in Sweden and you could say something mm, back. But... Exactly. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm very, very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I just always scream be. back. Oh, and I'm so much sassier in English. Yeah, I am. So I'm so sassy. Sassy. <laughs> Oh, like they were saying. <laughs> well, even if you can have a conversation, like knowing like how to insult somebody or yeah. like defend yourself, it's hard. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think that's actually kind of difficult. Like mm. when people are being rude and things like that, like small minor things. I just you know in Sweden, I would call people out. I would yeah. be like, no, that was rude. Don't do that. Whatever. Uh, but here it's just like okay, no, I'll just take it. Or even like here, yes. like I know what people, I know people are being rude, but sometimes like the word that they're saying, I know it's an insult, but now I know what the fuck it means. <laughs> yeah, I was like my messages the other day. I had yeah. to like ask my friends around, be like, what does this? Like I know that there was this is nasty, but I don't know what it, the translation is. Yeah. Mm. And it yeah, it's hard. It just Not takes even... time to like learn the slang because even mm. if you like if we knew Spanish before coming here, yeah, we don't know like the Uruguayan no, specific no, slang. No, it's the local stuff, and yeah. there's no way of learning that without being here. Um, and even if you just travel here, like, you're not going to learn that. No. And even not just to insult people, but I do feel sometimes, like, it's easy to be, for people to assume, oh, this, like, she's stupid. Mm-hmm. Whereas I'm like, I have a master's degree, yeah. but it's in English. Yeah. I can articulate my words very well mm-hmm. in my native language. But mm-hmm. in Spanish, I do sound like a five-year-old sometimes, mm-hmm. and that's hard to get used to mm-hmm. um, when you want to articulate something and be understood and be respected and this, you just can't yeah. make the sentence properly. Yeah. I mean, it's nice for us because we all have like somebody with us always that knows the language natively. Yeah. Like I couldn't imagine if- No, if but we I were, don't like, want to, I hate that I rely on that so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I want to, I was very independent in Australia, whereas here I do feel like I, without lost my husband, I'd be like kind of lost. Yeah. And I don't like that feeling. Not that that's any, like he's wonderful, mm-hmm. but it's more just like, I mean, it's nice to feel independent. Yeah. yeah. It's like another thing that you kind of lost. Like, mm. I mean, when you move to another place, you kind of lose. I mean, you gain a lot, but you also lose a lot. Mm. Like, I think that's where I had my like first mental breakdown here. <laughs> that I feel like, you you're, you're all, yeah, exactly. That's like an expat thing. You just have a mental breakdown yeah. at some point. Um, but that, I think that was the most difficult thing for me. Like just going to the grocery store and I don't know what things are and like, and, and asking for things because in Sweden I ask for help, for help all the time mm-hmm. if I don't yeah. find something or Here like, I just walk around. Yeah, I yeah, just literally. walk around. I just, I, I mean, as little interactions as yeah. possible. I mean, I'm country and they get very defensive. Mm-hmm. And then the, the, arg- the argument against it is we don't want Uruguay to be like the United States. I'm like, I don't either. No. <laughs> but there's, there's somewhere in between where we could improve mm-hmm. some things, but they're so afraid of capitalism and being controlled by the government. You should see the comments in some of my videos. They're actually hilarious.